Saturday, November 5th. We are headed towards Santa Barbara Island this morning. Uh, super calm out here. It looks like we're gonna be motoring uh, almost all the way. It's gonna be about seven hours, about 42 nautical miles. And we'll see what happens. There's a small craft advisory. There's some weather, uh, you know, towards San Nicolas, about 20 or so miles out past Santa Barbara Island. From wind perspective, I don't think we're gonna see much on the way there. We may get some wind overnight. The, the bigger question is, Northwest of San Clemente, the forecast for six to eight foot seas. And we may find out at Santa Barbara that it's just gonna be super rolly. So we'll head out, we'll see what we get. If it's uh, too rolly to comfortably anchor, we'll come back and our plan B is to come back to Catalina Harbor. Nine twenty five AM off Point Furman. Gently motoring towards Santa Barbara Island. Sails are down, there's no wind right now. And we've had like these just gentle rollers, so it's really pretty chill. Outer waters from Santa Cruz Island to San Clemente Island to sixty nautical miles offshore, including San Nicolas and Santa Barbara Island. This is us. Small cost advisory in effect through late tonight. Today, northwest wind, 15 to 25 knots, with local gusts of 30 knots. The strongest wind to watch is San Nicolas Island. Combined sea, 6 to 8 feet, dominant period, 9 seconds. So it hasn't Access changed. Fog, Small craft, 6 to 8 feet, gusts of 30, fog of the morning. Of the morning. 30, of the morning. Of the morning. So about a quarter after 11. We're about 15 miles in Catalina, off the port. We're still headed to Santa Barbara Island. This is past the shipping lanes there's a cargo ship coming behind us wasn't really much to see so we're just kind of motoring in we've got a little bit of gentle swell and there's a little bit of wind a little bit of breeze most of it's apparent wind Don't really have much to sail with at this point to work with new here this is an omnia oven you see some other sailors i think drake paragon did an episode on this let's uh take the omnia out so this is an omni oven and this is supposed to work like a little um a little oven you put this on your stove and it's supposed to heat up and act like an oven. So we'll see how that works. We're gonna try a couple of these uh, store-bought calzone. Okay, the Omni review, the uh, calzone turned out okay. Cheese is melted. Slight scorch marks. That was operator error. I had the flame on too high and had the calzones pointed towards the middle. But uh, 
I think I could bake something in this thing. Pretty shallow swells, but definitely a little bit more pronounced. And a really pretty clear view of Santa Barbara Island on 11 miles and some change. So we're, we've got about two hours left, so we should be in just a little bit after 4 p.m. Pacific. Or 20 or so, we'll have uh, anchored down, should be. Unless the seas continue to build, uh, I think we'll be fine once we get in the shadow of the island. Might be bumpy though. Three o'clock update. We're about six miles from Santa Barbara Island. A little bit more uh, bumpy here with the swells. Wind's still about 10 knots, kind of apparent, right on the nose. That's why we're still motoring. Catalina's a little bit more distant in the background. Got a bunch of uh, dolphins or something. See, these are these are those larger ones that we saw earlier. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the Rissos. But see how they're slower, they're larger, and then they're, um, you know, their spouts, they're spraying a little higher. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Those are Risso's dolphins. Yeah. All right, after clearly identifying these, this pod is Risso's dolphins. I'm pretty confident that's what we saw earlier. So this would mark the, the second. Uh, we saw one pod off of, well, a few miles off, several miles off of Catalina Mini, but then uh, off of Santa Barbara here. We're a couple miles out, so we're coming in. On a mile out. A little bit more wind. Uh, still a little bumpy here. I don't think the swells are quite as big. See one or two boats up there. There's uh, been a couple of fishing boats. There's one over there. This is like my favorite part, and one of the reasons why I like to get out here. I mean, I love to be under sail and, and sailing, but look at this. There's a half dozen boats are here, but look how beautiful it is here in Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara Island. And if you look behind us, you'll see uh, an almost full moon and a little bit of an outline of Catalina Island back there. And you can't really see the rest of the mainland behind us too well. About 42 miles away from the mainland. And we've got Starlink, so we've got pretty decent internet connectivity. So it kind of feels like we didn't really go too far, but uh, you know, we can take a few minutes and just, just enjoy this. Nice full moon tonight. I know how well this is going to come out, but it's beautiful. We've got the moonlight kind of shimmering over the water. It's pretty chill here. A little bit of a breeze, but pretty smooth. We're in uh, pretty snug. All right, this was going to be a cooking with keel dragger episode, but we may have to call it cooking with rip wrap because David uh, took care of. Uh, dinner tonight so what are we what are we having you want to give us a little uh culinary tour of yeah. top notch ribeye top steak and and veggies look at that that looks delicious on the grill mm -hmm. best part is gonna be taking a leak uh, in about an hour <laughs> <laughs> Seven twenty nine a.m just absolutely beautiful out a little bit of fog in places so there's 
Uh, patchy, dense fog, visibility one nautical mile or less in some spots. So I can't, can't see Catalina really from here. So less, less visibility, but it looks like we have pretty good visibility. Things have settled down a little bit since last night. We got no wind and not too much on the swells. So I, I would say uh, last night really competed with uh, Little Harbor in terms of uh, bumpy, rolly anchorage. I could have I anchored in a lot closer to the island than I did. So we could have been more protected. It was pretty manageable up until, uh, so we went to bed around cruisers midnight, 9 p.m. Pretty manageable up until about 11 p.m. to maybe two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. It was just really rough. I mean, we were getting bounced around pretty hard. And there wasn't much wind. Uh, I think part of it is, is the winds actually was kind of, whatever breeze was coming out of the Northwest and the swells coming from, from this direction. And yet we're pointed the other way, I think, because of current seals or baby sea lions or playing right by us. All right, bridle's up, pulling in the anchor. 8.07 a.m. depart time. David, how would you uh, characterize the uh, synopsis of our uh, windless breaker popping issue? Uh, very problematic. <laughs> Not good for single handling. That's for sure. I think we got about 75 feet on the first pull, and then I was resetting the breaker about every 10 feet after that. So, a uh, good thing is it forced me to test out the remote for the windlass, which I've never tried, and that works. So, I don't think it's a switch. I think it's either a contact to the windlass itself, a contact to the cables that might need to be cleaned up, or the breaker. I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with featherweight light like bows Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow Can't touch the bottom Sit into a tumble Waves that shake me out Out of my skin Never been so easy Losing my direction My bearings have me south of home I've been wrong before I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with fairway light bulbs Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow Five till three and we're just coming up on Angel's Gate but there's a bunch of lobster pots right in front of Angel's Gate, kind of blocking the entrance. They still haven't moved this uh, boat that sank a couple days ago. I figured they would have put the balloons under and hauled it out. Look at it.
Shit, we gonna make it? Hopefully. Are we gonna make it uh, or not? Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Straight out, straight out, straight out, straight out. Got our welcoming party here. Yeah, exactly. This is all. Who's exactly. that? Exactly. 